We must talk about Martel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville dating Sheree Bone Collector Whitfield. I'm sorry, Carlos. I have to... I have questions. All of your fans, all of your listeners, all the raindrops, we have so many questions. I hate to just, like, jump in like this. That's okay. They know you, Jasmine. But the girls want to know. Like, starting out, did you hook them up? Because <laughs> that's been the question on everybody's lips, so please let us know. I mean... I feel so bad for just jumping in, but did you hook them up? Because we have to know. So for my listener, she needs no introduction. This is my executive producer, Jasmine Henley Brown, who is asking if I hooked up Sheree and Martell. The answer is no. I did not hook them up, which is shocking. And I promise you, listen, y'all know me. I don't mind taking credit for things that are iconic. Okay? I had no idea Martell and Sheree were dating until six weeks ago. So neither of them told you. Let's just say this. <laughs> <laughs> Please, say it okay. all. <laughs> so the world found out this week where Sheree confirmed that she is, you know, hanging out with Martell, seeing him, dating him, whatever the case may be. I found out six weeks ago before you guys because... Mm. I was told by a mutual friend. <laughs> I am not the mutual friend Sheree Whitfield speaks of, by the way. But I was told through somebody who knows Sheree and Martell that they were seeing each other. And I was in my drop top. <laughs> Driving. Cruising the streets. You were cruising okay. the streets? <laughs> in my Usher Raven voice. Okay. Cruising the streets. I was going to the airport. I literally had to pull over because your boy was gagging. And I really thought, like, whatever. It's a publicity stunt. This isn't real. Mm. They're trying to have a conversation, right? Fast forward to two weeks after that. My listeners and the Love and Marriage Huntsville fans know this. I have a great relationship with all my cast. But when it comes to Martell, whenever I call him, he gets nervous. That means he's always in trouble. So I called Martell two weeks after I learned that he may be seeing Sheree, but I was calling him about something unrelated. And yes, guys, he was in trouble. So Martel answers the phone. Hi, Carlos. I said, hey, Martel. He said, before you yell at me, because you only call me when I'm in trouble, somebody wants to say hi to you. And I'm like, who? And I hear, hello. <gasps> I said, Sheree, is that you? Hey, Carlos. So they were riding around as a couple. I Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> was the mutual friend that told you, was it Mel? Was that the, the friend that told you? Mel who? Melody Cherie. <laughs> Is that who told you they were dating? Did she find out? That's a very good question. So, no, I did not learn from Melody Cherie. I would tell you, I did not know from her. I knew from somebody else. But when she said hello, I was like, wait. And he said, no, she's on the other line. I just conference her in because you called oh. me. And I was like, what are y'all doing? And they both started laughing. And then I was like, Sheree, I will call you later. I have to cuss out Martell about something unrelated to this scoop that just fell into my lap. And that's how I learned that Martell and Sheree were seeing each other. But, okay, so how does Mel feel? Does Mel know? Obviously, Mel knows now. So one thing about my relationship with my cast I don't spread their business. Like, it's not, it's not my job to spread business that you talk to me personally about. I'm not that guy. So I never told anybody. I didn't tell nobody in my close friends. I didn't tell you, Jasmine. Me and you talk all the time, sis. I know. <laughs> you look a little <laughs> I'm bit feeling annoyed. away about that, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'll forgive you at some point. <laughs> but it goes to show you, I'm a good friend. I'm not going to spread your tea. Right. Y'all call me messy all the time. I'm, I'm not messy like I think I am. I didn't tell anybody. So, Melody, I, I'm just going to assume, you know what? Exclusive for you. Martell dating Sheree is being discussed on this season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, which comes back in September. Not spring, summer, but the real September. 
That was going to be my question because I'm like, we have to see this play out on the show. I need the reaction from Mel. I need the reaction from the rest of the cast. I need the reaction from Coleslaw. Like, will she <gasps> make an appearance? I need to know how she feels because she did all that only to not get the man and for him to move on with a, a real housewife of Atlanta. So I want to know how Arianne feels. And I know other people do too. If that's Coleslaw, it's Sheree Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sheree, the way Sheree be looking, how good she looks, she is all of his dessert. She is the red velvet, red velvet cake, the peach cobbler. Honey, she <gasps> is the the upside down, the seven of cake. No, she is the Dad, dessert. You're right. She's the peach cobbler. So Sheree, she is the peach cobbler. Sheree, you are the peach cobbler, honey. Yes, so it's by the coleslaw. Hello to peach cobbler. Yes, Dad. Which one, which one do you prefer, Carlos? Peach cobbler. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love I love a good snack. I love a good snack. <laughs> I love a good dessert. But to answer your question, Melody addresses it on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And, oh my and so do the rest of the cast. And without giving too much away, because I want you guys to watch the premiere September 10th at 8 o'clock on OWN, Martel and Marcel have this funny conversation about this rumor he's dating Sheree. And it reminded me of when Ben Affleck first started dating Mm J-Lo. And Ben Affleck said this story about his boys from Boston was like, yo, man, you fucking J-Lo? Like, (laughs) damn, like, Ben, you fucking J-Lo? So all I will say is Marceau and Martel's conversation about the possibility of him dating Sheree reminded me of that. Well, they have a nickname like Benifer? Mm Because, you know, they have the iconic... Couple name. It was Benifer. What are we gonna call Sheree and Martel? Is it he by Sheree? Is it <laughs> is it Mar is it Marche? Marray. It has to be telling it. Sweetie, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is they that is that is a fine ass couple. I mean, I don't blame Sheree. I heard the news outside, bitch. Get it in then. I don't blame you. From a physical standpoint, now I know this is a longer conversation and we Probably don't have time for it. Martel comes with some baggage that I don't know if my girl needs. But from a physical standpoint, I don't blame you, bitch. I truly don't. <laughs> I don't I don't want my man to hear me saying that too loud, but I do not blame you, girl. Same here, sis. <laughs> no, the thing is this. I think we all can admit that Martel, despite what you think of him, Martel is a very attractive man. I've gone on record saying Martel is probably the most attractive man on reality television. He's a gorgeous specimen. And one thing I know about Sheree, I know Sheree for 14 years. Sheree is very private. Martel is too, to a certain extent. They're both Capricorns, okay? I think they're a day apart. Sheree is a certain age. Martel is 40. There is an age gap. Mm -hmm. So... I think this, because a lot of people are like, is this a publicity stunt? Carlos, are you setting this up to be messy? What's going on here? I believe Sheree, the Sheree that I've known for 14 years, Jasmine, Sheree is having fun. I think she's getting her back blown out. And I don't blame her because she said recently that Tyrone wasn't laying her right in the bed, allegedly. So one thing we know about Martel... He busted wide open. Listen, he looks he looks like he does. And I, I I think Sheree, look, you said it. Sheree's raised her kids. She got that big ass house. She is able to sustain on her own, but she's probably like, look, I'm I don't want my bed to be empty at night. I don't want to grow no cobwebs down there. Like I want some like young, fine man. And if she's just having fun, I love this for her. But I'm going to get out of here because I know you got some more stuff to talk about with DC and you got to get to Ashley's conversation. I just wanted to ask the questions that all of the fans were asking. So thank you for delivering. No, of course. And I'll leave you with this because a lot of people are asking, like you did earlier, Melody has moved on. And again, I'm not going to share my personal conversation with Melody, but I had a recent personal conversation with Melody. And the only thing I will say about that conversation is, Melody has moved on. So in my opinion, I don't think Melody cares at all that Martel is seeing Sheree, period. Yes, but before we move on to Ashley Silva's interview, I need to ask my raindrops. Tweet me the name that we should give Martel and Sheree. I vote for Shaytel, she by Shertel, whatever the name could be. Jasmine, what name do you want the raindrops to vote for? 
I think I'm going to go with Marae. Marae. I kind of like that, too. <laughs> Marae, okay. yeah. All right, so raindrops, go on Twitter, hashtag reality with the king, and let us know which name should Martel and Sheree be called. Thank you. 